This week at the House of Valentina, I cannot wait to share with you one of my favorite new sources for luxury for less. Like my mind is actually blown guys. And we've got work outfits, everyday outfits, and a few vacation finds. Plus, I have found a quiet luxury handbag source that is truly luxury for less that is going to blow your mind. Plus, I even have an amazing recipe that is so delicious and yet healthy. Oh, you're gonna love it. But make sure you watch through to the end so you won't miss any of it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the House of Valentina. Man, am I ever excited that you guys are back today because I am on another planet at the moment because I have found the most amazing clothing from the most unexpected source. And I've also got in some absolutely gorgeous bags that so entirely compete with the row and some of those luxury brands that we're seeing that do that beautiful, quiet luxury. Mm -hmm. I've got some seriously amazing stuff to share with you and it's all budget friendly and that's what's so cool about it. So uh, today, in case you haven't figured it out, I have done a huge haul from Abercrombie and Fitch. I know, before you click off, if you're older, over the age of like 25, let me tell you, I'm shook just as much as you are because I had no idea in fact, I'd seen that Abercrombie had had a rebrand and I was like, I don't care as far as I'm concerned, it's still for my kids. I mean, I'm in my 40s, I have kids uh, and I'm thinking it's for them. So I really just hadn't given it a chance. And then I've seen a few people trying things on and I was like, it looks really cute. I bought my kids recently a sweatshirt and it was the softest thing I had ever touched in my life. And I was like, I'm gonna try to order myself something. <laughs> it's just too good. I've got to at least try it. So I've got some things that are, are for work. <laughs> I've got some things for like every day, whether you wanna dress them up or dress them down. And then I even have a few things for spring break, pool days, summer, all of that. I mean, I am telling you, I've racked it in. It's amazing stuff. So starting off with this gorgeous little wrap dress, the fit on this is incredible. I'm wearing the mic pack, so it might look a little lumpy, but uh, yeah, it's actually just absolutely stunning and it fits so perfectly. It's just completely unbelievable. And I just love it. I think it's stunning. I love the little wrap piece here. This little wrap dress is to die for. The fabric is so high quality. The cut and the fit is amazing. And it is just extraordinary. This is definitely something that I would wear it for work, but then you could also dress it down with a little slide and wear it to the pool with a little ball cap. I mean, it's kind of perfect. And um, if you are petite, I think you'll absolutely love it. But I do wanna say that they're more size inclusive than ever. So I am talking petites, talls, regulars, and they have plus sizes in so many items. And so you really, and they have like extra, extra, extra small. <laughs> so they're really trying to expand the brand and I think they've done an amazing job. So that's actually what got me started, okay? I decided to order myself this little quarter zip. Now I've left the tags on so I can see the playback just in case. And I always wait to hear what you guys have to say about this, but let me know what you think of these pieces because I always wait to take the tags off until I hear from you guys. I think you're gonna love this stuff. I could probably just start taking them off. But this little quarter zip is what got me started because it says Capri Hotel and a luxury resort and spa. And I think that this is just so cute. And it is ridiculously soft. It's got that Abercrombie softness. I don't know what they do to their fabrics, but Holy moly, you're gonna just sit there and want to just like hug yourself all day. You're going to absolutely die. I did pair it up with this really cute pair of shorts also from Abercrombie. I've got the YSL belt that I was actually styling everything up with. I really love this belt and the color. It's so pretty. And you're probably already getting a little sneak peek of the bags. They are beautiful and the leather, no joke, looks so similar to the belt. You know what I'll do is I'll put the belt over here with the bags and we'll chat about it in just a minute. Look at this suiting look they have, the pleating, the fabric. They 
are absolutely mind blowing. They've got the suiting kind of back, right? With the closed pocket and then the pocket here in the front. Uh, actually the back is a little bit elasticated. And then of course, they've got that nice little finish on the front. They are absolutely beautiful, stunning, perfect for t-shirts, perfect for tank tops, perfect for the sweatshirt. I mean, what are we not gonna be pairing this with? I have a couple pairs similar to these that I've had in the past. And I wear them so much that when I need to clean them, I don't, I'm like, what am I gonna wear today? <laughs> so I am glad to have an extra pair of these. I mean, I would definitely even pair that with a blazer. I think that would be so cute. And yeah, I know you guys are gonna love these. <laughs> then let's talk about the body suits. Body suits of drapes. The fabric on these, you have to order it and try these. I think you will absolutely love them. This is what I like to wear as a great layering piece underneath blazers and sweatshirts and whatever else I'm gonna be wearing. You can of course wear them without a layer over them during the summer, but during the springtime, I know I'll be layering this up and it is the softest cotton. I mean, I, I just, I don't know what they do, but it's just absolutely incredible. And the color is so stunning. It's so warm and really just warms up the skin. and. I'm in love. It's it's a double layer. I, I wish I could just send it through. Okay, you've got to try it. Okay, you've got to at least try. Okay, because I really was against this. I really, I had a, a full conversation with my husband saying, that is ridiculous. I, I don't care what they've done. I'm not ordering from Abercrombie. I'm an adult. And then here I am swearing by it. It, it just really is that good. And then they also have this also in that short sleeve, but it's just that it's, it feels almost like what you, like a scuba kind of set, right? And it is just, it's so soft. It's so soft. You're gonna wanna touch it the whole day. And it's just unbelievable. This one, again, double layering on them. I went with my regular size. They fit really nicely, go on easily. They aren't too tight. The snaps aren't uncomfortable. They're perfect. They're perfect. I also, I also got a pair of trousers. These are pretty much the same as the shorts. I think they're like literally the exact same thing. They've got the slightly elasticated back, closure in the front, pleating, same thing with the pocket on the back and the pocket. And I got these in a short, or I don't, I think it has an S next to it. So I think it was for short. So I don't have to tailor these at all. And they are perfect on me, just skimming the floor in a flat. So I was wearing the ballerina flats that I showed you guys, it's been two weeks or so ago, the ballerina flats from H&M. If you didn't see the H&M haul, you need to check it out because their ballet, their, I was gonna say slippers, the ballet shoes are the best thing I've ever bought and I have been converted. I am telling you, you're going to freak over these. So that's what I was wearing these with. And the cut on them, the cut, the fit, the length is all just absolute perfection. Because I found some really great pieces, I paired those pants up with this gorgeous t-shirt. This is their boyfriend cut tee. And I just love an oversized tee like this. I tend, I tend to go either I want it fitted or I want it really baggy. And this was their small. So that would be my regular size and it's pretty oversized. I, I just love it. I love it. It's so soft. It, it's the softest thing. You're just going to die. You've got to just try them. But I love to dress these up with trousers. I'll throw them on when I'm working out and going out to lunch with a friend with jeans. I mean, going to have to now order some jeans from Abercrombie as well, because I'm like, I have been missing out. I have been missing out. They are doing something right. And I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Next up, we have one of my favorite, favorite kinds of pieces. And I only have one in my wardrobe right now. And it's a black version of this with a mock neck. And it's from Karen Millen. And they don't sell that one anymore. And I wear it all the time. I love it because just like this one, it's got this ribbed kind of fabric in it and it's really light, but really stretchy. And it's a little sheer, but not too sheer. It's just, I don't know what it is about that shirt. But when I got this one, I was like, this is like that shirt. It's got like that silky kind of feel to it. And it's just beautiful. 
it looks look at the look at the side here look at the side and the way that it's tailored and everything look at that it's just absolutely stunning and it's just so well done it's so soft it's so chic it can be dressed up for work it could also be super casual so i'm just freaking out in case you didn't notice i'm freaking out look at this stuff i mean what this is abercrombie i can't believe it let's start off with the shirt dress of dreams because this one is incredible so you could definitely take this on spring break i think it's a linen fabric but i need to check online it is such a nice weight it's not see-through and it's nice and thick but not too thick because sometimes when they're too thick they're uncomfortable to wear it's perfect it's soft yet it's structured it's got the ability to roll the sleeve and pin it up it comes with a little belt so you can cinch the waist and I love a piece like this. It's perfect for going to the beach. It's perfect for going out shopping. It's perfect for running errands around home. You could just throw on a sneaker or a slide. This is the kind of dress that once that weather hits anywhere near 60, I'm just gonna be wearing this all day long, all weekend long. And I think you could even just dress it up for work. I mean, it is just, it's just gorgeous, guys. It's so perfect. Now, this little baby, ba ba boom. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I said ba ba boom. Uh, when you get this, you're gonna think the same thing. This is definitely meant for me, for the beach. <laughs> We've got a couple beach trips coming up and I was thinking that this would be perfect over a bathing suit. Uh, I actually had it styled with, I, I had it styled up with, this is a bathing suit that I have owned for over 10 years. It's a little Dolce & Gabbana. I think they may actually still sell it. It's like the Dolce & Gabbana bathing suit. Well, what I love is that it may be quite modest on the leg, but it actually looks like micro shorts, which is such a big trend right now, uh, underneath the sheer thing. So I'll leave a link if I can find this one or I'll find something similar. I just happened to have that and it just looked perfect underneath this. So it is very sheer. It's meant, at least if you're like me, to be worn at the beach or what I was thinking would be really nice for cocktails or a light. I'm thinking salads for lunch and going to the little club or the restaurants at the resorts that we're gonna be going to. And I was thinking, yes. And then the back is actually open with a little tie and it's really, really sexy, but not like, but not. I don't know, it really covers you, right? Cause it's all the way down and it is so soft. We're just gonna immediately put this in the bag. I can't wait, I cannot wait. I'm gonna have so much fun wearing this. So if you've got some pool side time coming up or you wanna jump on that sheer trend that's so in this year, check this one out because yeah, I think you're gonna love it. I also got the, this little crocheted short little number. I ended up loving this too. It's like a shift dress basically. And again, meant for me as a cover up. I'm sure at home you could like put something underneath it, but I was picturing this to be for beach and pool days. And you know, when you're walking around maybe shopping and you know, carrying a cute bag with you or something. And I just love it. I really think that the cut is perfect. It fits amazing. This is the small, so it's a little bit longer on me, but I just loved it. I thought that it was so pretty. The fabric is so high quality. It's really well made. And so I know I'm gonna be wearing this for years. It's so timeless and classic. And yeah, that's another one I need to just pull the tag. I did buy a couple bathing suits. So I love the fact that this one comes up really nice and high, covers the belly button. So really and truly, you're not showing very much at all with one like this. It looks skimpy, right? It looks a little bit sexy, but actually it covers a lot. The back is actually really modest and the backside actually comes up really high as well. So love the strap, love this bathing suit. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I also got a really beautiful two piece. I love this one again, because it comes up nice and high and the leg is high and that slims you out and elongates your legs. I used to always do like the Dolce Gabbana where the leg would go down really low 
And actually, this makes you look a lot taller <laughs> going really high. And the top is, well, let me see if I can show it to you. Top is super duper cute. Love the fabric. It's so gorgeous. Love the little straps, very adjustable. And yeah, I'm excited. It'll give me something to sunbathe in, whether I'm here at home in the backyard or on vacation. And for me, a lot of times I'll, I like to wear the little bikini top with like a pair of shorts. So I think it's something that you can kind of run around in. Um, I, I, it tend to be places where I feel like other people are modest, right? So a lot of times I'll just throw on some shorts with something like this, but either way, I, I'm just blown away. It's at, these are absolutely gorgeous. I think you're gonna love them. And even white, like nice and thick, double layered, all right, let's chat about some of these accessories because the baseball cap is back and I'll tell you why. It's because I am loving the baseball cap. I think it looks so good for summer and one of my goals for this year is to get as little sun as possible on my face and I am notorious for not taking a hat with me. So I realize this isn't like totally covering my face, but I will also have a wide brim hat for the days when I'm really out in the sun. But I think that having a baseball cap really keeps a lot of that sun off of our faces. And I am determined to not get sun on my face this year because I just see that it really damages your skin. And sometimes you just can't correct that later. So I really think the baseball cap is not only really cute and cool. Last time I wore it all the time and then I was like watching the video back and I was like, you really can't see my eyes. So I won't wear it for the video, but I've been wearing them nonstop. I just think it's so cool. It really just gives the outfit a little edgy vibe and makes it just kind of different. So um, that's not from Abercrombie. They may actually have baseball well caps. If they do, I'll link to theirs and I'll link to that one. But the other thing that I got was this gorgeous, huge raffia like crochet beach bag. I mean, it is so big and my daughter has already tried to steal this. I'm like, can you at least let me show my friends before you take it from me? I love it. It's double, it's layer, it's lined on the inside, has a nice little zippered pocket on the inside as well and has a little closure on it. And my favorite part is the fact that it has a nice long strap. Because if you're like me, when you load these things up and you try to put it over your arm, sometimes it literally won't fit over your arm. <laughs> and so I like a nice long strap so that you're not having to tote it all, you know, like with your hand. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's gonna fit easily. A couple towels, sunscreen, and sunglasses, books, all of it, it's gonna all fit in here. And I just thought that was gorgeous. All right, as promised, I have some bags to share with you. And these have just so completely and utterly blown my mind. I cannot wait to share this with you. So I got fed <laughs> something with this brand on Pinterest. It's called Song Mott. And the tags are still on them because I ordered three and I honestly cannot decide my intention was only to keep one and I don't wanna send any of them back. So I haven't been able to choose which one I like the most and all the colors are so gorgeous. I just need your help. I need you to tell me which one you, you like the best and which one you think I should keep. They are absolutely stunning. This is from a brand called Song Mont and the, the owner, creator, founder, she worked for Google and she actually did a customer experience. It's actually what, the, what she worked in. And you can really tell the way that her mind thinks when she created these bags and the way in which they function and the things, the, the little extras, the bonuses that they come with. Like you just see that this is a person that understands how we are gonna feel when we touch this and use it. And not only that, but she has used the finest European leather. I, I, I really genuinely believe that this leather is some of the prettiest leather I've ever seen in my life. It, it's so stunning. I wish that I could just send this through so you could actually touch this. It is so unimaginably soft. It does come with the longer strap, which is also fully adjustable and you can literally just thread it through here. But the really cool thing about this, it has a little pocket as well on the side, hang on. So it, so it also has a little pocket over here and that actually, hang on if I can do this while talking. So it actually fits the phone. It slides down in there. I mean, what? <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> I don't know, maybe she carried two phones, but uh, either way, 
It is pretty cool that it does actually fit the phone and I have a case on it as well. So fits the phone easily, has these little magnetic closures here and inside, whoa, I put my phone down before I drop everything. So inside you've got this gorgeous opening here. It's got tons of room on the inside. Look at the leather, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it, there's no clasps or like hard to undo closures. It really has that quiet luxury row kind of feel to it. I, I'm just blown away. I am blown away. It's got a little pocket here on the inside as well. And it's simple, but so elegant. It's so well done. I mean, look at this bag. Look at this, it's so cool, isn't it? It slips on the arm this way, or you could do the crossbody strap. And I'm, I'm just blown away. I think it's magnificent and it's got competition, okay? So then we've got this one, which is also so beautiful. I love this color. I think that I would love any of their colors. What do you think? Don't you think you would as well? It's got that classic, beautiful moon shape to it. It has this amazing feature where you can also, we can open it, see again, again, no clasp. You just open it very easily. And then in here, I do believe, unless I left it in the box, Yep, I left it in the box. Okay, uh, it does actually have a really long crossbody strap that goes with it as well. And then this beautiful gold hardware. I mean, this looks like an Hermes bag. I, I mean, I'm not joking. It really looks like an Hermes bag. Did I mention that these are all under $500? I think most of their bags are actually under $400. Yeah, I know, I should have said that in the beginning. Yeah, under $400 around that range and free shipping and free returns. Uh, yeah, so opens up like this and inside you've got a really nice big cavity in there. You're easily gonna fit your sunglasses, your phone, you could fit a full size wallet in there, uh, your hand sanitizer, whatever you wanna take with you. And it is just beautifully lined in leather as well. I mean, the color, uh, I mean, guys, I think people are gonna just assume that you're carrying either a row bag or an Hermes bag. I mean, I can't believe it. I, I cannot believe how beautiful that is. Look at that against the black. Is that color not just gorgeous? So, wow. But yet again, we have competition. Then we have this one and it's gorgeous too. I mean, what are they doing to us, okay? This one has that same little magnetic opening on the top so you don't have any kind of closure to deal with, no fussiness or anything inside. So this one opens without the handle being over the opening, which is a really nice feature, I think, because the other ones, the handle's not in the way, but it's over the opening a little bit. This one just opens right up and this one does come with the crossbody strap. That's so cool that look, it goes on the inside. There's a little strap inside of there and it's just gonna go right down through there and come right back up. So it's, I like it because I don't know about you, but I've owned a lot of bags. Um, when they, the luxury ones, they guarantee them. So if they don't, if something breaks on them, they will take them and fix them. But if you are like me and you've bought some, that don't have that kind of warranty on them. And the clasps a lot of times will break on them before the fabric will wear out. Well, this one doesn't have any of those problems. There are no clasps. So yeah, I like it like this. Oh, they did everything right with these bags. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that was Oh, that's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This is a stunning bag. Guys, I genuinely do not know which of these I'm gonna send back. I just love that. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at the leather, look at the leather, look at this bag, a feet on it again. I mean, are you guys not just totally blown away by this? So yes, I've left the tags on, but I'm in turmoil. I'm in turmoil, I do not know. And then you have the choice of the colors as well. So one, two, and three. So guys, tell me down in the comments which one to keep because I don't know. I do not know. 
all beautiful. So pleased. So I'll leave everything linked down below for you so you can shop and I'll definitely leave the color as well. So clearly we're having some fun with these affordable luxury items from Abercrombie and also from Songmont, but I've also gotten in some home items that I think you're gonna freak over. Like, I think you're gonna absolutely love them. I'm freaking out. So let me take you on a little tour of the house and my tummy is rumbling. So we're gonna end up in the kitchen in just a minute, but, and don't, you don't wanna miss that. I mean, mmm, peanut butter cookies that are healthy. You do not wanna miss this. All right, come on. All right, guys, your eyes do not deceive you. There is a new tree. So I haven't even fluffed it yet. Literally just got it in last night. And this time I put the Spanish moss in it and you can see where I've got an extra one. You know, Jack said we needed an extra one. Yeah, I can kind of see. So we've got it kind of wedged underneath here with paper and we've raised it up a little bit. This planter is from Restoration Hardware. I actually got it at their outlet store and I need to tuck the cord back there. Jack's got a little light that he likes to point up at it. I don't know if we've shown you this, but we've got it on one of those Casa little timers. And so I can use the app to turn it on and off. And then we can also just push this on. See how it's harder to get back here because he's got it on his timer. So I think we'd have to have the timer in order to get on, be able to show it to you. But this little light is the one that we use behind things. And then we put it on the Casa app. That way we can just turn it on and off. But yeah, I think that it just looks so beautiful. This tree is unbelievable. So don't worry, the other tree is not gone. We had the ficus that's been struggling here and we've put it in a different place. And uh, yeah, I just need to get in here and just kind of fluff this baby up. It just came last night and you are seeing it first. <laughs> You're seeing it before anyone else. But I am just, I mean, we have just been hitting the jackpot, haven't we? On the olive trees, if you missed out on the Costco one, get this one before it's gone because I'm telling you just when I thought we had peaked with the other one, I found this one on Amazon and it is breathtaking. So I will leave it linked up. It is stunning and it just looks so real. It just is so real. And we've got a little piece to still take off of it. But I mean, I, I am just utterly, utterly blown away. So this is one find, really, really good, right? And then don't forget to get yourself some Spanish moss. We also have the gloves sitting there because you definitely wanna make sure you have gloves on and uh, don't touch that Spanish moss too much or else it'll make it itchy. But yeah, that was two bags of moss and so I've gotten a third so I can fill in those little edges. But wow, I mean, wow. <laughs> It's amazing, isn't it? Okay, and then we can see we've got some Amazon packages here. And then in here, we've got a new blanket. First of all, this is the one that I have in black that is one of my favorite things I have ever, ever owned. And it's absolutely gorgeous. The quality of these blankets is insane. And they're like around $30 on Amazon. So that is absolutely gorgeous. Then, then we got in the balls. I'm freaking out. They are little ceramic balls that are meant for the fireplace or the fire pit. And I've got them loaded up here in the big marble bowl. And I think they just look incredible. Yeah, so clearly I am such a fan. I think that they are absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is the bowl that is from the Jamie Young, and it's been on sale on Wayfair, so I will leave a link for that. The other things that I've gotten here, I've got these lights, and I always link up to these and the ones from Amazon that are similar. I liked these because they have that knurling on them, which you guys know, I just absolutely love those little details. Uh, so I do love these an awful lot, but I do think that um, Amazon has some that are similar if that's not as important to you. And then this little guy has also been on Wafer and been on sale. So I'll leave that linked up for you. And then I got in this new vase from Amazon and I think it's just so 
cool. I really, really love it. The bowl is also from Amazon, the tray from Pottery Barn you guys saw at the holidays. And then I got these really cool little twisted little candles as well. And yeah, then I got in the curtains of dreams. I mean, I am telling you, just so beautiful. Look at the pleating on them. And then the fabric is absolutely gorgeous. It actually has a blackout lighting on it. And it is just, they're beautiful. Do I not deliver when I tell you that I have some insane Amazon finds? I mean, wow. I mean, even the mirror is an Amazon find. And yeah, I'm just freaking out over these little balls. I think they look so, so cool. And even though they're meant for either a fireplace or a fire pit, you could just have them stacked in a bowl. I've also put them in the bedroom as well. <laughs> I wanna put them everywhere. I just think that they look so, so cool and hip and yeah, so pretty. So yeah, um, I'm getting hungry. Let's walk into the kitchen. I've got a really fun recipe to share with you. So lately I've been craving cookies. And one of the things that happened to me when I realized I couldn't have dairy is that I started to find go arounds. And what I found was that actually I found a lot of raw cookie dough kind of recipes that didn't have any butter in them. And I've gotten to where I actually crave them. So today we're gonna be making my cinnamon peanut butter cookie and these are actually raw and what the best part about them is that they're actually technically healthy but you're not going to know that because they're so good and they actually just taste like raw cookie dough so you're going to love these they're really nice because you can make them you can make them in little balls if you like to do it that way or you can flatten them with a fork whichever technique you prefer either way they're going to taste delicious and they take seconds to make and so you can make them at the beginning of the week and feed yourself and your family all week long and have just a nice sweet little treat waiting for you. But there's actually no added sugar really in this. Um, I don't even know if there's any even in the peanut butter. I'm telling you, there's a little bit of maple syrup in this and it's about it. It's incredible. So really yummy, but still healthy and you definitely, definitely guilt-free uh, pleasure here. So. <laughs> All we do is take the food processor, okay? I've got all my ingredients ready and it is gonna take us two seconds to do this, okay? We're gonna drop in about a cup of unsalted raw almonds. We've got about a cup of pitted dates here. Then we have about half a cup of the Big Spoon. This is their maple cinnamon. It is so good. So if you don't have access to the Big Spoon, you could always just add a little drizzle of maple syrup and a little dash of cinnamon into your mixture. But since I have mine, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. And literally all I have to do is just get this in here. Okay, it's this simple, guys. I'm not joking. It's actually this simple, okay? And put that in there. And then a dash of almond extract. That's it, okay? You can always add a little more extract if you want it to have a little bit more flavor, but you're gonna love these. And then we just turn it on. <laughs> it's that simple, I know. You're like, I can do that. I can hear you, I know you're gonna love it. All right, go. <laughs> All right, so that is about all it takes. Okay, it really is just that simple. So I'm gonna scoot this out of the way so I can roll out my cookies. All right, we're gonna make ourselves some room here and let me take the insert out and you can kind of see all that dough is all in there and how good it looks, right? Okay, so peanut butters are different and you never know, I'm gonna take my rings out because we're gonna roll these out. You never know until you make this recipe whether the almonds will be a little bit more wet this time around. Uh, so don't feel like you have to stick to this recipe 100%. If it's not sticky enough to actually turn into a little ball like this, then just add a little bit more peanut butter until it's ready to be stuck. So yeah, until it sticks together, if that makes any sense. So you can leave them like this. I like them in little balls personally, but cause then it just feels like cookie dough. And I'm just placing them down on a cookie sheet that's lined with wax paper. It could be parchment paper as well. The main point is that we wanna be able to stick them in the refrigerator where they're gonna get a little bit harder and that way they'll be they'll just feel a little bit more like that, like, I don't know if you're like this, but 
I always loved eating the cookie dough when my mom would make cookies and so she'd put them in the refrigerator and so they'd be nice and cold. And uh, yeah, the dough before she'd cook it. So that is literally all we have to do to make these. And then you could also, if you wanted to, press them with a fork. So let me show you how to do that as well. I'm like, sometimes, yeah, yeah, it works. Cause sometimes I'm like, they spread too much, but these actually work perfectly. Look how good that looks. So, so let me wash my hands for a second and we're gonna try one of these cause I'm too impatient to wait until they're done. Okay, give me a second. All right, let's try one of these, shall we? I'm being so naughty, I'm not even inviting anybody else. That way I get them all to myself. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. That is so delicious. <laughs> my tummy is like, bring me more. <laughs> you taste the peanut butter, it's really creamy, have that little like almondy taste in there, and then the almond extract takes this over the top. So, these, are, like I said, you're gonna love it because you can make a few of these, pop them in the refrigerator. Whenever you need a snack, you can go and get them. They're loaded with protein. They're loaded with really good, healthy fiber. And um, yeah, all, all kinds of good things, right? It's only good things in here. I think you're gonna love them. So I'm gonna leave the recipe link down below for you guys. And I will definitely leave the links for all those incredible Amazon finds. Now I'm like, she wants more and she just ate peanut butter while talking. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I will also leave the links for all of the incredible Abercrombie finds and the tree and the bags. I mean, did we have such an epic day or what? I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm gonna probably eat some first and then finish. I wash my hands in between, or maybe I shouldn't, then they're all mine. <laughs> Either way, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then.